Hi traders, I'm going to talk you through how to recover MetaTrader 4 in the event that it crashes and you can't recover the system at all. The reason this happens is if you're running indicators or expert advisors which are poorly written and go into a loop or call DLLs which mess up, it's possible that it will crash MT4. And the problem is that when MT4 loads, it always tries to load the last profile. And if it can't find the last profile, it loads the default profile. And sometimes if the default profile is the last profile, then you know, you're know kind of going round and round in circles, basically constantly loading a crash setup. So the way to resolve this is to go into the MT4 data folder, but obviously I can get into here through MT4 at the moment, and I can show you where the actual files are that you need to remove but also explain how you find this data folder if you can't actually open MT4, which you, you won't be able to because it constantly crashes. But first of all, let's discuss the MT4 file structure and explain how these profiles are, 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 low, are stored and where you need to find them. So let's assume that you found your MT4 data folder and you know where it is. What you need to do is just go into that data folder and find the profiles folder. Let's have a look at this profiles folder. So what MT4 does, it, when it first loads, it will try and load the last profile. And you can see here the last profile is also saying use default. Okay. So in order to get, assuming this uh, profile crashed MT4 when it was last loaded, you need to delete the last profile. So just select it and hit delete. And also delete the default folder. Okay. Okay, so now when I restart MT4, you can see it loads with no charts, just a blank setup, because it doesn't know what to load, there's no last profile, there's no default folder, so it just loads a completely blank setup. And there we go. So we've loaded MT4 successfully, and everything is cool. Right, let's talk about how you find the MT4 data folder if you can't get into MT4. So this is a bit complicated. So you have two methodologies. You may be aware of something called Windows User Account Control or Windows UAC. If you're running Windows 10, you don't have much choice. It will pretty much always use Windows UAC. And that means that Windows will virtualize your MT4 data folder for you. You don't have a lot of choice in it. And if that is the case, what happens is the, the data folder gets stuck into a hidden folder on your machine. And let's just have a look at that. So, so I'm in Windows Explorer at the moment. And what happens is you go to your local disk and you go to your user folder. And you find your username, the name you're logged in as. I'm Crispin. And then you look for a folder called App Data. And this is a hidden folder, and you may not be able to see this on your machine. So if you can't, go to Start in Windows. Doesn't matter if it's Windows 7, 8, or 10, and just search for Folder Options. And then this Folder Options thing pops up. It's the same pretty much for all the different Windows operating systems. Click the View tab, and then just go down to Hidden Files and Folders, and click Show Hidden Files and Folders, and apply. And now you can see the hourglass just spins up for a second, but the app data folder is now visible. So if we click on that folder and open it up, okay, I've opened it up, and you go to the folder called Roaming, and then in the Roaming folder, look for MetaQuotes. So open up the MetaQuotes folder, and then go to the folder called Terminal, and now you'll see a whole list. Uh, or not necessarily a whole list, you may only have one or possibly two or three of these depending on how many MT4 accounts you have, but all of these ridiculous alphanumeric strings represent MT, virtualized MT4 data folders of some description. And unfortunately, there is no way to, to see exactly which ones they relate to unless you do a bit of investigation. So I've got I've got a, a program on here, which is it's FXCM, that's the name of the broker, uh, it's, it's MetaTrader. And so what I need to do is just have a look inside each one of these strange strings. And I'm looking for basically an MT4 fold structure. And I can tell you what that looks like, because 
it will have always have a folder called MQL4 in it. So I know this is a valid MT4 folder structure because I can see MQL4 in there and I can see all the stuff I'm used to. And what I'm interested in is this origin file here, the origin.txt. And if you click on that, you can see which MT4 account this relates to. This is FX um, Primus, which is no good for us. I'm looking for the FXCM one. So I go back. And this is an MQL5 account. That's no good for us. That's an MQL5 account. MQL4. So let's see what this one relates to. That's ODL. In fact, that is the one I want um, because I won't bore you with the details, but I've renamed my folder structure to that. So forget about that. You'll, you'll basically, all you're looking for is the name of your broker in this origin.txt file. So once you've found this virtualized MT4 data folder, click the profiles folder and delete the last profile and the default folder. Delete both of those. And now if you when you restart MT4 in your virtualized Windows UAC environment, MT4 will boot up and it will just boot up in a straight vanilla fashion. And in the same way, if you're not running Windows UAC, things are a lot more simple because you just simply search for the name of your broker uh, and you'll find that in C, Program Files, x86 for the case of MT4, and just scroll down to you know, the broker name. So I'm running um, all sorts of different versions of here. So there's MetaTrader, Alpari, AxiTrader, XNest, Pepperstone, FinFX, etc. Some of the brokers use their broker name first. So FXCM, MetaTrader 4, FX Primus, FX Pro, GFT, etc. So all you've got to do in this case is go into the folder, go into profiles, delete the last profile and default folder. And then you're good to go restart MT4 in the usual way from the icon and the whole system will, will start back up and in it will be in a nice clean uh, environment and you can then always find a way back to a clean environment and not be stuck uh, with a, a permanently kind of locking or crashing MetaTrader 4 environment. So I hope that helps.